the never-ending story. That's so good. One of the best fantasy adventure movies of the 80s. Since the never-ending story was based on a German book produced by a German company and directed by a German director, an American filmmaker was summoned to help bring the movie to the United States. And they managed to get the industry's biggest movie director, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg's American version was edited seven minutes shorter than the German version, but it was a huge success. And as a thank you gift, Spielberg was given the Aryan from the movie, who still has it proudly displayed in his office. By the way, NeverEnding Story director Wolfgang Peterson was good friends with Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, which is why you may spot a few characters that seem out of place in the movie. There's Yoda and E.T. and Chewbacca. Some people claim C-3PO and Mickey Mouse and even Scooby-Doo are in there somewhere. But Yoda sticks out most to me. Speaking of Yoda, did you know George Lucas originally was going to call Yoda Buffy? Yepper's Buffy. George Lucas originally went with Buffy, until the Empire Strikes Back screenwriter Leah Brackett changed the name in the script to Minch Yoda, which eventually changed to just Yoda. Smart move. By the way, Yoda is actually Sanskrit for warrior. Speaking of warriors, you know how predators fight under a strict warrior code? They won't kill women or children or someone who's unarmed. But did you know that code had a name? It's called the Yatuja Honor Code. No idea if I said that right. And there's a ton of lore behind it. All the rules to the hunt and what should happen to a predator if they break the code. Speaking of codes, do you remember the Konami code? Kind of an age test in a way. Almost everyone who grew up in the 80s and 90s knows it by heart. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. The Konami code was created by Kazuhisa Hashimoto who originally created it for the 1985 arcade game Gradius on the NES. Finding the game too difficult to play during testing, he created the cheat code to make playing easier. The code is used in more than 100 games, such as Castlevania and Mortal Kombat 3, but it's most famous for the game Contra, where the code famously gave players 30 lives. A huge advantage. I personally used it in Contra and Gradius, and it was a lifesaver. Especially on that Gradius board where the Easter Island rock creatures fire those rings at you. So frustrating. Speaking of rock creatures, remember the rock biter from NeverEnding Story? Did you know he had a name? A rock biter? Pjorn Kratzark. Definitely did not say that right. The NeverEnding Story, one of the best fantasy adventure movies of the 80s. That's so good.